Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Forge, which just got released for Minecraft Java version 1.17.1. And this is the latest release of the game. And now, a few hours ago, Forge has been released for the latest release of the game. So as you guys can see, I am using a mod in the game and I was using the tool belt mod there, which allows me to select items from my tool belt. And I can put two items in the slot, as you guys can see there. And I can actually change the items, so I can put anything in here. And then I can actually equip the tool belt, and then hold down the R key, and then I can choose the items I want to take out of the tool belt. So it's really cool, and it's thanks to Forge that I am able to do this. Until now, we had to use Fabric to install the mods, which was another alternative to using Forge. But for those of you who have been looking to download and install Forge, today I'm going to show you how to download and how to install Forge for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. And if I go to the main menu, I'll show you guys. The bottom left here does say Forge version 37.0.7, .7, and I am on Minecraft version 1.17.1. If I click on the mods button here, you can see I've got Forge installed, and I've also got the tool belt mod here installed as well. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to download and install Forge for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. I'm also going to show you how to quickly install the tool belt mod for it and get everything up and running. Okay, so the first thing we're going to download is Java because we do need that to get the Forge installed to work properly and it's going to make our lives so much easier. So if you just go to our internet browser and just search for Java JDK 16 and if we just click on this link over here, Scroll down and I am on Windows. So I'm going to download the Windows X64 installer. Click on this file. It is 150 megabytes, so it might take a while depending on your connection. So just, let's just wait for that to finish downloading. All right, so as you guys can see, Java JDK version 16 is finished downloading. So let's just close this down. And now in the search bar, if we type in Minecraft Forge, it's going to be this link, which is the files.minecraftforge.net. So let's just click on that. And as you guys can see, the latest release for Minecraft version 1.17.1 is out now. So we can actually download Forge for Minecraft version 1.17.1. So if you just click on this installer link here, and let's just wait for the skip button to appear on the top right here. Okay, let's close this down. And now let's download the tool belt mod, which I showed you earlier. So just type in Minecraft tool belt mod. Uh, if we scroll down, it should be the Curse Forge link that we need to go to, which is the latest release of the mod. So as you can see, it says Tool Belt mod here, game version 1.17.1, and this is for Forge. So just click on Files and then click on Download over here. And let's just wait for that to finish downloading. All right, so as you guys can see, it's now finished downloading the Tool Belt mod for version 1.17.1. It's finished downloading Forge the Forge installer for version 1.17.1 and it's also finished downloading the Java JDK version 16 file. So I'm going to place all of these three files on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to install them. All right, so I've placed all the files on my desktop and now I'm going to run the Java installer. So I'm going to click, double click on this file and wait for that to start installing. All right, so as you guys can see, it does say the software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes. So I'm going to start the installation for this now. I'm going to click on next and then now it says Java has successfully been installed. So let's just click on the close button here and we can move this out of the way. Now we can actually install the Forge installer for version 1.17.1. And as you guys can see, this is a jar file. So if we just right click on this, hover over open with and then select Java platform SE binary and it should open up the installer. There we go. So as you can see, it says welcome to the simple Forge installer version 1.17.1 forge 37.0.7 so just make sure it's selected the install client link here and keep this install directory the same so it depends on where you've installed your minecraft path and click on ok and you should see something like this and it will start downloading and installing the forge files for you all right, so as you guys can see, it now says successfully installed the client profile Forge for version 1.17.1, Forge 37.0.7 into launcher. So click on OK, and that should complete the installation for Forge. Now we can move the tool build mod into the mods folder. So if we go back to our Minecraft launcher, 
And if you guys do have any issues with installing the jar file using Java and getting the forward installer to work, if you do come across any problems, just post them in the comment section below and I will try and help you guys out. Okay, so now you can see in the launcher, it does have a drop down here and it does say forge for version 1.17.1. If we click on the installations tab here, you can also see the forge installation is now showing here for version 1.17.1. And if I just hover over this link and I click on the folder icon here, it should open up the game root directory. And if I just maximize that, so now in this directory, you should have a folder that says mods. If you don't have this folder, just right click anywhere, click on new, click on folder, and then just rename it to mods. And now if I go into this folder, I can now place the tool belt mod file that I downloaded earlier into this mods folder. So I'm just gonna drag this tool belt mod file into the mods folder. So as you guys can see, the tool belt for version 1.17.1 jar file has been placed into this mods folder. So I can now close this down. I'm now gonna launch the Minecraft default launcher. And we can now launch forward. So you've got two options here. You can either select it in the drop down here and make sure it says forward and click on play, or we could go to installations, make sure it's showing forward here and then click on play here. So let's just wait for the game to now launch. All right, so there we go. The game is now launched with Forge. As you can see in the bottom left corner there, it does say Forge version 37.0.7. And underneath that, it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1. And we have a mods button here. So you can know that it is basically Forge that we have installed. And if you click on that, you can see that it does say Minecraft, Forge, and then Tool Belt. And this is the mod that we installed earlier. So click on Done. All right, so we can now return back to our normal world. So if we go back to the world I was playing on and I'll show you how the tool belt mod works as well for this. All right, so if I press the V button on my keyboard, I can place the tool belt in this slot here. And then once it's placed in there, I could just hold down the R key on my keyboard and I can select the items. So that is really simple, guys. That is how you can actually install Forge and install the tool belt mod for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. Obviously, newer mods will come out for Forge version 1.17.1. So just keep a lookout for them. It might come out soon and you can download it and it's just place it in the mods folder like I showed you. And then you can just launch the game, making sure Forge is selected in the launcher dropdown and we can play with mods basically. Eventually, we will be able to put the Optifine jar file in the mods folder and then we can play with mods and shaders at the same time. So it's that simple. It's really cool that the Forge mod has now finally been released for version 1.17.1. I'm sure a lot of people were waiting for this to come out. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. And if you have any comments or queries about installing Forge or getting it to run on your system for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, do leave them in the comment section below. And please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.